Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Hello, uh, YouTube. Uh, we just had lunch. All right. Today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be working in this box here. Now, I got this lovely little pure sine wave inverter. It's a 300 watt one to 600 watt surge load. Um, what I'm going to be doing with it, because it's in this box, okay, I'm going to be fitting a basic, very simple, fused four pin relay. Um, so that I can, and it's a 30 amp rated, this, this one's 30 amp, it's got a 30 amp fuse on it. And we're going to simply do it so it can be switched on and off with one of these switches here, probably this one. Okay, and that's basically for convenience. Um, it didn't come with a remote on off. So we're just going to do a uh, four pin relay, put that in there, and when I flip the switch, it'll engage the, the uh, relay, turn it on, and uh, power that little 300 okay, watt in there. I think we're getting ready to get this all underway. So, what you're going to need is a couple of light switching wires uh, one red, one black. These are about 30 centimetres long, longer than I need. And they're also about twice as heavy as I need. Um, I've already got a ground on the inverter. Now, for the uh, wire going into the um, inverter, I've got one here. It's already got a 30 amp fuse on it, and that wire is rated at 30 amps. And I've got this wire here, which is also rated at 30 amps, even though it looks huge, eh? It's not. It's double coated, people. It's got a light red coat and a great big thick black red coat, black coat on the, on the inside of it. It's actually the same size wire, <laughs> same gauge or millimetre squared as that piece of wire there. Okay. All right, I'm out here doing the wiring. Okay, so this wire over here, all by itself, that's that big, thick plastic one that's got a lot of plastic on it. All right, I'll put a 30 amp fuse there. Then I've come down, plugged it into the relay. All right. Now, in the relay, we're putting a 25 amp fuse. All right. Now, on the output to the inverter, I've got another 30 amp fuse. Okay, my whole aim is to have this fuse here blow rather than any of the others. Simple reason, this is the easiest one to get to. Okay, I don't have to pull the covers off to get the, those ones up there. So between the power, the battery, well between the battery, all right, it goes up to a 50 amp blue C heavy duty um, circuit breaker, which I also use as a switch. That powers um, the trailer to the, to the uh, trailer charging and all that. It also powers that tiny little fuse panel, okay? And then each individual fuse Okay, now on the switching wire, which is up that one there, the, the orange one, that's a 5 amp wire to the relay for the switching. Okay, I haven't plugged the switching wire in yet, it's just here. Alright, so if you look at the relay, straight on, alright, you can see what I've done there. But, just have a look at the um, drawing in the video if you're not too sure. Look, these, this is real simple stuff, people. Okay, it's not rocket science. The relay in, 
We've got a 25 amp fuse up here. Now, my wife's just here. If you can turn that last switch, love. Switch is on. Ah, uh, turn it off. I forgot to turn the relay on. Silly Chris. Now, as you can see, it's now powered by the red lights because the fuses are missing. All right, if you can turn the switch on. There we go. Simple as that. Now, these things make a beeping noise when they turn when you turn them off. And I've had some people say, don't turn it off yet, love. Oh, it's beeping when you turn it off. Your voltage has dropped. Okay, well, for those people, these have in a little thing called capacitors. And the capacitor drains because there's a little green light on there. And it makes a beeping sound. If you can turn it off, there we go. It does not mean the, the, the inverter is faulty in any way whatsoever at all. All right, that's the conclusion of this video. Um, the diagram's in it. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. That helps my channel a lot. And if you don't like it, well, just thumbs it down. I don't really care. Thank you.